in Saigon only hours before the comet is taken. The climax of the year's biggest storm. Oh, in Vietnam cities, scenes of unbelievable chaos and desperation. Every man for himself. As the flight from Saigon began, red tape was ignored to allow the to leave on special rules. Any of that? I remember a line Mary Reason used in a broadcast about one Vietnam year, 1968. History, he said, never discloses its alternatives. What you've seen is not what might have been, but the way it was. It seems now more certain than ever that the bloody experience of Vietnam is to end in a state. This summer's almost certain standoff will either end in real give and take negotiations or terrible escalation. I shall not see this. And I will not accept the nomination of my party for another term as your president. I call the red bombs. I call the red bombs. If you're the kind of praise you might pray that these other brave men be preferred to pray for me. All leave this terrible place safely and come home to you next Christmas. This is Charles Carroll. I bet they search everywhere to find me. When I'm old flown, the TV tour, at night, play the flag music, it'll be nothing I'd ask the to make public a plan for peace that can end the war in Vietnam. The offer that I shall now present on behalf of the government of the United States and the government of South Vietnam with the full knowledge and approval of President Q. We both have an agreement this was inside, what remains to be done, can be settled in one more negotiating session. With a new meeting of these negotiators, it is quite too difficult to be in the fact that we have achieved our goals by obtaining an agreement which provides peace with honors in Vietnam. And on this day, let us honor those who will make this achievement as a rest of peace on U.S. siege. I shall leave this office to regret of not completing my term of the gratitude for the privilege of service. I, Gerald R. Ford, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute, that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States, the office of President of the United States. The whole siege began. On the American Embassy roof in Saigon, only hours before the communist takeover. The climax of the year's biggest story. Yeah, 
In Vietnam's cities, scenes of unbelievable chaos and desperation. Every man for himself. As the flight from Saigon began, red tape was ignored to allow 2,000 war orphans to leave on special nursing In any event, I remember a line Harry Reid reused in a broadcast about one Vietnam year.